Say goodbye to daylight. This is the last day where the sun is above the horizon for about a month. Here's my breakfast, cashew nuts, raisins, cinnamon, apple, oatmeal, this Christmas tea by Yogi, and I have like a peach of peach peas, <laughs> what the fuck, can't say that. I have a piece of fresh ginger in there, my vitamins, and we're watching skiing in the background, or whatever this is called in English, where they shoot and ski. Which, when you think about it, it's the weirdest sport ever, but it's cozy to have it on in the background and just get in the winter Christmassy mood, I guess. Let me, <coughs> Let me know if you do like oatmeal or not. I've been kind of a proud advocate for oatmeal for years now, and I'm just curious if you like it or not. I know a lot of people can't stand it, but in my opinion, it's just about... First, you can get used to every taste. Second of all, you can top it with whatever you want to and make it really flavorsome. Uh, so I'm just curious if you like it or not. And if you want me to kind of make a video about ways to make it not taste like cardboard. Because i got a lot of tips and tricks. Okay, I don't have much time to talk. We're on our way to Henningsvad to eat at a very nice restaurant with my mom, my brother and my brother's friend. So let's just go. So we're here and I'm placed right next to the fireplace, super warm and cozy and toasty on this very cute deformed Christmas tree. dinner with a family friend which is Gina if you have followed me for a while you know my best friend Gina her brother um, fun fact so we lived here until I was like five years old my family and then we moved down to like Oslo area and the first thing that we did we drove down with all our kind of belongings and the first thing we did was to stop by their house because our both our parents were great friends and yeah we've been close friends ever since and here they are yeah so here is our guest bedroom just gonna do the bedding So 
say goodbye to daylight. This is the last day where the sun is above the horizon for about a month. Crazy how you take it for granted that you actually, that it's bright. Today it's only one hour of sun. It looks like this on the weather app. Peaceful. Now we're gonna enjoy this hour to the fullest and go for a walk. I just woke up because I was up late last night watching cloth and my cousin he was out partying in the area where I live so they came over before they went to the an after party. So I was up a bit later than usual but no worries still woke up before the sun went down again. <laughs> Sunday and Marley taking it all in. They're on a mission as you can tell. Picking up dog poop. Getting that original content, you know. Haven't seen another YouTuber do this. Just being a pioneer as I do. I had to stop by my mom to borrow a hat and some gloves because freezing my ass off. I thought I would just go for a little walk but since it was so nice I walked for a bit longer. You guys asked me in the comments if um, if it's any cold because you say that it seems like I don't wear any clothes <laughs> and it's not as cold as it can be but yeah you should definitely like wear a good jacket and a hat and some gloves which I usually do most days, especially when I walk with my dogs, but when I'm going to a cafe or something and I'm in the car most of the time, I don't get bothered to get dressed too well. But of course, I'm, I'm being careful not to get sick and stuff. She says as her nose is running. That happens every time I go out because the air is so fresh. Look at that beauty. I never watched season one, two, and three, uh, but you can totally just jump in. And the reason why I did and why I believe so many people did was because of Diana, Princess Diana, because I find her fascinating, which a lot of people do. But I highly recommend watching it. There's just a lot of kind of lessons that we can take from it in terms of just how people are in general and what we all need. Just love basically and uh, being seen and not trying to fit into something that you don't fit into, just being yourself and being accepted for that and just traditionally kind of the generations before us, how they raise their kids It just a lot of stuff that we can learn from it. And also the biggest thing that I believe is important that we can learn from it is I do this as well and I believe most people do this is view things as either black or white and that's good and that's bad. Things are what they are, it is what it is and that includes people as well and no one is 100% bad and no one is 100% good. No one is born bad. It's very easy to look at Princess Diana and Prince Charles and be like oh Prince Charles is a bad guy and she's the good guy. A good woman. And also the other characters, the Queen, Queen Elizabeth and Margaret Thatcher and it's just very easy to put labels on them as either good or bad but in reality there's just so many layers to it and during the time we live in now when we're so quick to assume the worst of people or just assume anything really good or bad and then wanting to cancel people because of one opinion or one thing they did, but that doesn't define their entire being, who they are as a person. So that's just something that I'm very passionate about these days, to be more understanding of where people are coming from and not be so quick to judge them for their opinion or 
their point of view or something that they did because there's just so much more to it and we will never never know their entire story that doesn't mean that we shouldn't kind of confront people about what they did but not be so quick to assume that they are a horrible person because of that one thing. It's just very interesting, so I highly recommend to go and watch it. Maybe you watch it and be like, I didn't get any of that, what you just said, out of this series. It's just for entertainment and just to kind of look back at history a little bit. But that's what I took from it, so take it or leave it.